the ability to write infrastructure as a code is extremely important because once you start defining it as a code, you can treat it as just like any other code, including your application code as well, right? And you can start revision controlling it. That's a big thing because, you know, once you start revision controlling it, you can actually recreate the state of your complete infrastructure out of the code base. That could be a Git or SVN or could be any other revision control system that you have, right? So your cloud migration becomes easy. Let's say if tomorrow if you want to migrate to cloud, if you already have the code, you can just provision the compute instances, take this code, apply it there, and you have your infrastructure. Uh, the second thing that you can do is you can revision control or version control your infrastructure. This is my 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. You can go back in time with the state of your infrastructure as well. And your, you know, your migration becomes easier. Your disaster recovery also becomes easier. Let's say you have a downtime in your data center. You can go quickly go to the cloud, take the same code, take the backups that you may have and provision the infrastructure and you're live. Right. Uh, that's a big thing. Right. And then you can also consistently create the infrastructure across the environment. One of the important problems, um, one of the problems it solves is, you know, the prod and dev parity. A lot of times your dev environments are different. The staging is completely something else. Uh, production is running a different version of your applications. Uh, in case if you're managing it with a tool like Ansible, you since you're using the same revision control system and provisioning uh, all the environments, you get absolute consistency across your environment. That's another important aspect. And then you can use all the best practices that developers have been using for years, such as using test-driven development, uh, a better sophisticated editors and refactoring tool. Um, you can also do the peer reviews and uh, automate the testing and uh, review systems and so on and so forth, right? Now, all of that is possible if you can write your infrastructure as a code. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe. You may also find links to our free courses in the description below along with some special offers for our premium courses. You can also visit us at schoolofdevops.com.